So now let us do something interesting because we are learning geometry. It is all about shapes, right? So what if I take a straight line like this, I put my finger here and then convert it into a V shape. What do I get? This figure that I have is called as an angle. So if I have to name these two sides, these are called the arms of the angle or the sides of the angle. And you can see that there are two lines originating from this point. So this point becomes the angle. What if I have to name it? Let me name it as ABC. So this will be called as angle ABC as you can see here. So remember we can form an angle with a line segment. We can form it with a line as well because it is never ending. It keeps on going and going and going, right? So what I've done here, I have actually bended a straight line at one point and we got an angle. Let me try to do something more interesting. What if I bend a straight line at two points? Something like this. I have a line, I put a line here and a line here and I bend it. This figure seems very familiar, right? What does it represent? You are very correct. This is a triangle. Why a triangle? Because when I have bent it at two positions, I have got three angles as you can see here. This is the reason why it is called as tri. Tri means three. So triangle. That means this is a shape that has three sides and three angles. Let us try to dig a bit more in detail. I again have a straight line. I have put three markings on it at random. Okay. So let me try to see what figure I get step by step. So first I take this, this position and I actually put the entire line up. Okay. So I have an L shape now. Next from the next marking I actually twist it. I have a C kind of a shape right. Then the third marking, I actually flip it and close it. What do I get? This is again a very familiar figure, right? This has four sides. This has four angles as you can see. This figure is called as a quadrilateral. Why quadri? Because quad means four. And there are different kinds of quadrilaterals that we will study later. Let us take one more example of this and try to bend a straight line at four positions and see what do we get. So I have a line, I take it, I again make it as an L shape, I twist it from the second, I get this shape, again twist it or bend it at the third point, I get this, again at the fourth point, I get figure which has five sides and this has five angles. So what do we name it? We name it as pentagon. Pent means five. Five angles of five sides. Likewise, you can derive on your own. You can get a hexagon which has six sides, a heptagon has seven sides and seven angles, octagon eight sides and eight angles and so on. So what did we see? Every figure is derived from a straight line. It is just that at what point you bend it and how many bends you make on the line, you get a particular figure. Now let me tell you something more interesting. So the line was not a closed path. Neither was the angle, right? Because it was open and it can go to infinity. When I put two bends, in a line and I got a triangle that was a closed shape. 